Hello Farmers, welcome back to East Vineland where it is raining in the month of March. Uh, I zipped on through the winter months. I didn't do those three cultivating jobs you saw at the end of the last episode that were in for contracts. I did those three. I refreshed the contract page, nothing came up, so uh, I just skipped right through the month of March, basically. There were some contracts in February for planting soybean, not soybean, uh, canola. And it was like one or two, they weren't paying that much, I was like, ah, the heck with it. Uh, let's go on outside. Um, by the way, I did make a mistake when I put down this cabin. I said this was made by Elk Mountain Modding, but it's not. It's made by Omatana. Uh, the log cabin I wanted to put down is by Elk Mountain Modding, and that cabin is 40000 uh, I just missed it on the farm uh, farm homepage. So, but that's what we got. This one's made by Omatana. Link should be in the description below, and uh, there you have it. Um, the, the chickens are doing fantastic. We actually got some eggs spawning here. I did put down the silo where we can buy basically any of the in-game, base in-game products. I can't buy cracked corn from it, but I did buy some wheat. I did buy some sunflower. Brought it on up. Our chickens are 100% health. Uh, we come over here. Yeah, we still got 11 chickens. 100% health. They got plenty of food. They're not going through it that much. And we do have some eggs, so they make eggs right off. Contract and field 61 is done. Um, that was Francesca. She was uh, planting sunflowers. Actually, she's right over there with a borrowed John Deere. Actually, she's not really quite done, but the contract is done. Uh, I've been in the John Deere 710 open cab with a fertilizer spreader. I've been doing a couple fields this morning. Uh, we'll get to that in just a moment. You may notice our grass is ready for harvest, but it's not at the full height. Uh, as I mentioned, like on my No Man Land series, because a couple of people ask, uh, it says ready for harvest. What do you mean it's not at the full height? Uh, this grass here, when you see the weeds in the normal grass, and your field grass is the same height as that, that's when it's at its full height. I mean, I could technically harvest it today, but we don't have a mower now, do we? That was another question that got asked. Why didn't I put a crop in here that would be for the chickens? Well, if I put a crop in here that I need for the chickens, I mean, yeah, I could plant that, uh, but we don't have a harvester. And, of course, we can't lease. So we're going grass because, well, I got a baler and a wrapper, and we can do some silage. Speaking of silage, in the month of December, those three silage bales of the BGA, they sold. And of course, now that I got a field and we got an environmental score, a positive environmental score, I got like an additional $300 just for those three silage bales alone. So a little bit of money came in there. Let's hop on down just to the store quickly. Uh, can I teleport to that? No, I can teleport here. So this is where I put my buy all silo. Uh, that's what I'm going to call it. It's a multi-fruit buy all. Like I said, you can buy anything that's in the base game here, like mineral feed, seed, and such stuff like that. And I think I'm going to buy my stuff from there. Is this easier than buying pallets and then having leftover pallets there? I'd rather just come over here, buy from here. But I think I'm getting a discount from buying from here. It seems like it might be a little bit cheaper buying seed and fertilizer from here rather than buying it from the crates. So I don't know. I'm not quite sure about that, but... This does make it easier and more convenient instead of having pallets everywhere. Uh, let's teleport over to... Okay, perfectly. Yeah, so yeah, we're, we're in our John Deere 710 where we finally get to use it again. I'm all set up to do a contract over here. Uh, actually, let's get this little mini-map up here. Field number 12. I think this is the third or fourth field I have done today for fertilizing. So this is where the money's going to start coming on in nicely. And this is what I'm saying... I said earlier about contracts for fertilizing. I'd rather do these because you do get paid rather well, but yes, you do have to buy your own fertilizer to do so. But it only takes like a like a minute or so to even do a field this side. Not even a minute, really. So the money comes in a lot faster. You get the jobs done a lot quicker. And any fertilizing contract that comes up, I'll be taking it. And we're going to be raking in the money because the next thing, well, a couple things we need to buy here and pretty soon. One is a mower. So we can cut our grass. The grass will be ready actually in the month of April. So yeah, we got to buy that pretty soon. But it's not that expensive. It's only 20 grand. And then I want to buy some more land to possibly put down some more grass uh, for now. We can always change the crop in the field later on. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, we can always eliminate the fields, make fields, move fields around, what have you. So it's not that big of a deal what we put in the fields. But right now it's probably going to be grass because that's the equipment that we have. So that's what we're kind of shooting for. But maybe by the end of the year, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I'm not having any set goals of where I want to be by the end of this year. 
Um, I'm only already further ahead than I thought it would be, but I did a lot of contracts the first year off camera, and I would like to eliminate doing that many contracts off camera if I could. If I can do so, that'd be nice. Let's go ahead and save ourselves some fertilizer by by reducing our working width here. Get this path on done. So I think this field here is like I'm getting paid like maybe five grand to get it done. I know it says the contract's done. I probably should stop because I'm kind of wasting fertilizer that I don't need to put on down. But it's okay. All right, so just get an idea here. This is field 112, is it? I think it said 112. Uh, yep, yeah, 112. So we come on down here into contracts. So field 112. Yeah, I just got paid 2700 to fertilize that field and didn't, you know, took less than a minute. And I probably spent maybe $400 in fertilizer. Uh, next field is not that far in front of us. So let's go ahead and get up there. And while I'm driving up there, as I drive through the brush, let me adjust my working width back up to 42 meters. Now, it's going to be raining all the way until the afternoon hours, so I didn't want to fast forward time and lose out on fertilizing contracts. I just didn't want to do that, so <laughs> these are going to be rather nice. So money-wise, you probably saw we're sitting at 34000 but we're going to get paid for a lot of contracts here in just a moment. We are going to be doing a uh, planting some sunflowers in the field here in just a moment. Actually, it's going to be right next to the field, next to our house, I think. A little log cabin. Won't take us too long to do that. There are some weeding contracts that came up, but uh, they all disappeared rather quickly. So farmers were not waiting this morning to get weeding contracts done. I was checking the store page as well through the winter months. The only thing that came up that was kind of interesting was the stone picker. But I really don't need a stone picker currently. It was like 60 some odd percent off as well. So it was kind of on the cheap side. I was like, I would like it, but personally, I don't need it currently. I'd rather save the money for, you know, it would have really sucked if I bought like the stone picker. And then I would have been down, you know, below 20 grand. All of a sudden the mower came up for sale. And if I didn't have the money for the mower, I would have kicked myself all the way until I had a mower sitting in my property. So I didn't want that to happen. Now these fertilizing contracts are going to be great. I was looking at the map a little bit earlier, just trying to see how the fields are set for fertilizer. And I'll show you in just a minute exactly how many fertilizing jobs we could have this year. It's going to be quite a bit. I, guess I just got to stay on top of them. It's too bad it is raining out, but you know it could be worse. It could be snowing out. <laughs> Um, it only snowed in that uh, that part of December that we saw. It never accumulated when I was doing the cultivating jobs. And January, February were rather rather nice. Uh, I didn't check the temperature wise. But as for moisture content, uh, it didn't rain, didn't snow, didn't do any of that stuff. There we go. Two more passes. On this field, we'll be done fertilizing for now. Then we'll grab that John Deere with the sunflower planter and go do some planting. I would like to buy the Kubota mower set. I have the Vicon mower set on No Man's Land. And the Kubota set looks just like it, but at least it's a different brand. Might be made by the same company, for all I know, but... Uh, yeah, I think we might go a little bit on the Kubota theme here. Just a little bit. Now, I don't want to be buying the same equipment that I have on No Man's Land. There we go. I think this is my last fertilizing contract that I have this morning. So before I do, if we go up here to this page here, and then I go over to, uh, wait, what page? No, sorry, I got to do it from here because I've got precision farming. There we go. 
Uh, so the dark blue colors are the fields that are fully fertilized. The light blue co colors have one stage of fertilization on them, so they can require one more. And all the other fields have no fertilize, uh, fertilizer on it whatsoever, so they may I may get two contracts on them easily. So, I mean, you can see the field that we're in here, uh, which is field 92. You can see how big that field is, and for that contract here for field 92, we just got paid... Uh, it basically 5500 for doing that job so not too bad uh let's see let me go get go ahead and collect on the fertilizing contracts make sure i don't collect on the sewing contract because that equipment will go away so now we're up to fifty one thousand dollars just by doing and i think in total it may be taking me 10 minutes to, to drive around do all those contracts so not too bad uh, let me go ahead and park my 710 here Let's teleport over to the John Deere. And she got to use the John Deere 310, uh, R8RT 310. Uh, that's what she used. How much more seed do I got? I did have to go down and refill this with seed once. And I should have enough seed left over to do the contract in field number 53. So it's the field right next to us. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Because just before I got recording, I was checking out the two fields beside us uh, just to see what's going on with them and how much they were. This is double check. And I thought when I walked into this field here, it said sunflowers. Which is what I'm going to be planting here, but it doesn't have sunflowers in it yet. Is that what it says? No. Okay, so I might be mistaken. Uh, maybe that was that field that said sunflowers. Alright, yep, I know. Let's go ahead and unfold our planter. Also, another thing before I forget, because someone, I don't know if it's the same person that's asking, or it's multiple people asking. Um, how, some people are asking, how do I add or remove money uh, very easily? And how do I delete trees like I did in No Man's Land? Uh, it's, this, it's this little page you're seeing here with all these options here. This is called the Easy Developer Mod, and it should be on the Giants Mod Hub. But I do believe it's for PC and Mac only. So, yeah, you can come in here, you can add money. So, if I want to add $3,000, I'll add $3,000 to our account. Or if you want to set your money to a certain total, say you want to make it $716,212, you just type that in here, and your money will automatically be set to that. Uh, if you want to delete objects, you turn that on and hit your corresponding key you have set for it. Um, it has super strength, so you can lift up stuff. Uh, you can turn on fast runner if you've never seen that. Uh, let's see, it's at eight times. So, if I get out and just. If I want to run, you can run really faster on the map. Uh, but someone does keep asking about that. But this is called the Easy Easy Developer Mod. Uh, whoops, I want to turn that off. It um, also has a uh, flight mode, so you can, you know, jump up into the sky. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff for you, if that's what you're looking for. And another thing I should mention, if you're using course play, and you want to use course play for planting in fields, but you don't want to use fertilizer, like on contracts, you got to go up to... Is it this page here? Okay, so that page disappears when you're working. Interesting. Um, so when you're working on course play, a setting will come up here with a tractor and an icon in it. You want to click on that, and then you'll scroll on down, and it'll say um, apply fertilizer when, when planting. You want to turn that off. So like when I was doing a course play in that field up there, the worker stopped because it saw the fertilizer tank was empty. So I had to go in there and make sure I deactivated that. So just be aware of that. It took me a while to find it. I knew where it was in the 19 course play mod. Uh, but I didn't know how to do it in the course play mod for 22. But it didn't take me too long to find it, luckily. So I was looking at, like I said, this land and the one on the other side. Uh, this property right here is a little bit more expensive, but it's a little bit bigger. But if you look at the price per hectare, this property here is actually cheaper per hectare than the land over there. I think we'll have to wait and see how the money goes and how I feel about it. Like I said, I don't really have a set goal where I want to be by the end of this farming season. Uh, we're just going to go and see what happens. 
sometimes, like I said, the store has been kind of determining where we're going here. I'll be interested to see what we get for fertilizer, uh, for fertilizer, for grass off this grass field. I'm thinking fertilizer because I just realized I got to bring my 710 back. I want to fertilize our grass field to boost out the, uh, the yield on it. I, I'll be happy with the bale, honestly, because the, the bales are going to be 15,000 liters, I think, on this map. Oh, no, it's going to be 125 centimeter bale, so I don't know how big a bale... That is on this map. We were doing 100, 150 centimeter bales on this map, or I think for grass silage, is a uh, 15,000 liters. So maybe 11,000 liters for a 125 centimeter bale. So it is kind of interesting. You see, as I'm planting here, the stones aren't disappearing, but on our field over there, the the weeder slash uh, uh, cedar that we were using there the stones got pushed back into the soil not so much here but this is not our farmland this is not our equipment so so be it and there's one other mod I wanted to activate here but I kind of forgot I wanted to uh, get the toolbox mod so it's kind of just like a little toolbox that you can put down on your property to repair and also to customize your vehicles and I think it's rather cheap. I think it's like $200 for like a little toolbox. But you can customize and repair your vehicles from there. Contract on field 53 done. So I'll go ahead and get the strip on done. So I think this, I, I know this field is going to have some flowers in it. I think the field over there has some flowers in it. So if I were to buy either field, I guess if I had the money, I could get it like a cheap combine at the end of the year and harvest some sunflowers. Now, the only thing is I don't have a silo to put the extra material in. So, I mean, I could harvest the sunflowers, top off our chicken feeder, uh, chicken feeder, our chicken trough. But then I won't have a silo to put it in. And like I said, I don't really want any farm sheds or silos over here. I want our farm to be on the other side of the road where that land is. Which is where the original farm is if you start in Fresh Farmer. Oh, and someone did say like the odd shaped land that's for sale. Kind of like where these trees are. I guess that's where that chicken coop was was is originally on uh, Start From Scratch. That's what it's called, start from scratch. No, I'm starting to start from scratch. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you're on easy mode and all the buildings are down, I think this is where that chicken pen is um, when you start the game on this map here and the cabin or house is, is right here somewhere. Um, I didn't look at it from start uh, um, easy mode just because I didn't want to get an idea. I didn't want to, if I happen to build the farm the same way the other one was, it's by coincidence because I don't, I, I mean, I can kind of see where the footprints were and all that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and collect on this contract anyways. So the sewing con... Let me refresh a whole bunch of fertilizing contracts again. So let me go ahead and collect in those in case they disappear. All right, so fertilizing, we're just going to head and accept, 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 accept. Uh, so yeah, back into the 710. I try to do the fields when they're clumped together. I think 108 would be the one we're doing. That's, well, that's got to be a small field. Uh, we got to be over there somewhere. Uh, there's 110. Should be blinking. There's 107. Oh, there it is, 108 right there. All right, so I got to turn south. We'll go ahead and get that one done. So I finally get to use the 710 with no cab, and of course it's got to rain, right? That's that's what it's got to do. That's what it's got to do, I suppose. And probably not a good idea to be driving around in March 
in an open cab while it's raining and the temperature outside is what's the temperature outside currently it's 36 degrees outside fahrenheit just a few degrees above freezing and i'm in a 710 fertilizing i'm going to be a sick farmer for about a month and a half basically is what's going to come down to So this is what I've been kind of waiting for to get fast, easy money, if you want to look at it that way. Drive across this field here. Up to $65,000. And we're going to have more planting jobs because not everything can be planted in March. I think uh, when's the... Let me look at the map again here. Uh, all right, so there's some fields here, like field 110 that we're currently in. 111 is have nothing into it. But actually, a lot of fields already have some crop in. So there's not that many seeding jobs going to be done. Maybe, if you look quickly, I would say like a dozen to 15 fields are left. Everything else has already got crop into it. I mean, those are nice contracts as well. So I can go around fertilizing... You know, I may do some off-camera, do some fertilizing off-camera. While I'm doing that, I'll have Frank, Francine, Francesca, Frank Jr. doing all the planting. Meanwhile, we got to take care of our chickens here and there. Chickens, I mean, they should be good. We only got 11 chickens. The amount of feed I got in there for them, they're going to be good until they start reproducing a little bit. And we get more chickens in there. Maybe by then, we'll have some farmland across the street. So I may hold out and buy the farmland across the street. So I want to put down that fuel refinery, which is, I don't want to say only 125,000, but I can make some fuel into that along with some other products. And we can start making some money off of it. Because any extra grain I get off from harvesting contracts in the fall, I can go ahead and use that. I was hoping that was wide enough to complete the contract, but it is not. Let me go ahead and reduce the working width as small as I can. There. Let's go ahead. Yep, we're good there. All right, now I need to head on over to, and yeah, let me go down to the contract page. Yeah, I'll, I'll collect on that one. Uh, let's see here. 35 should be down here, I think. But on the western side of the map, 35, 71. 35 and 71. There's 36. Yep, 35 is right here. Let's go do that one. And then I'll go do the rest off camera. Let me get that back up to... No, no, wrong buttons. There we go. So it seems most of you were and are happy with the progress we're making here. We're not going too fast. We're not... Don't seem like we're going too slow. So most seem to be happy with it. So that's good. I think these uh, fertilizing contracts are going to pile up rather quickly when you get a lot of cash. Which is fine by me. It's this field here, right? Yep, it's this field. Still not used to the wide working width of the fertilizer spreaders in 22. like it's raining harder as we work here. Probably shouldn't be out in a field working with thunder in the background. 
but no lightning, so we're all, we're, we're all good. I think I'm fine. But no contracts for Liming Field still, which seems kind of weird, because Liming has been in Farming Simulator since 17? You'd think there'd be, like, Lime contracts. I don't, I don't know why they don't have Lime contracts. Uh, stone picking. Maybe because it's... Well, you can turn weeds off. I was thinking, well, maybe they don't have those contracts because those are things like lime and weed... Uh, lime and stone you can turn off. You can turn off weeds too, right? But there are weeding contracts. I don't know. Although, stone picking contracts, I wonder how much those would pay for because... Though that job does take a while. I know there's modded stone pickers out there because we use one ourselves on no man's land. And I actually saw a stone picker come up on the mod hub not too long ago. I think it's double the working width of this of the in-game one. Hopefully this completes it, or I'm going to have to do that little strip on the other side. That does complete it. All good there. Let me go ahead and just park this over here. So, you know, I was in that field not long at all. And that job paid me 4100 Compared to, like, maybe seeding that field, I'd get paid the same amount. Yeah, so there's weeding, and they want me to use that. Uh, I think that's an electric tractor, I do believe. Remove the weeds in field 104 using a weeder. Yep. Uh, I mean, if there's a whole bunch of weeding jobs, that'd be great, but I wouldn't use a small weeder. I'd, I'd pick the biggest one. Uh, but yeah, I got these fertilizing jobs here to do. I'll keep on going on through these fertilizing contracts. I'm not sure if I mentioned it yet, but I was having a look at the supply and transport. This is a also another mod on the Giants Mod Hub. Uh, basically, like olive oil. Um... They want me to deliver 102,000 liters of olive oil to the supermarket before time expires and I get paid this much. The money is a little bit better than what you would get paid. Just bring it to that place. Uh, I think it was like maybe 10%. So you're making a 10% profit on getting the contract done. But the thing is, if you're delivering it during the bad time of year, so if it's a bad, you know, say olives this year are at its lowest price, you're better off saving the olives, wait until the price is highest, and then look for that type of contract. So... Uh, but interesting concept, just, uh, yeah, you got to figure out, is it worth it for you? Um, each individual to their own. But we do have the money to, I'm not going to do it right now, but I just want to go, you know, wait as long as I can in case it comes up for sale. But I just want to double check on it. Mowers, there it is. And the reason why, I'm, why you may be saying, why not buy this the cheapest one? Because in the future... I know I'm going to have the butterfly more to go along with it. So I might as well go ahead and get the front one now. And yeah, it's 21000 for it. Pretty basic. Our class Arion should have no problem. Uh, we're at 145 horse. 145? 165? 145, I think. And uh, 82 horsepower to run that. I don't know if it can run this and the baler at the same time. That's 82 horse. And our baler... Wait, this just to make sure. 145 horse, okay. Uh, and if I go to the baler, the baler is 100. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be able to run both at the same time, so I can't mow and run that behind it. It might be asking a little bit too much. But if I take some of this money and upgrade our our class uh, Arion tractor to a 205 horse, might be able to do both at the same time. That's getting kind of close, but we shall see how it goes. Uh, but so far, so good here. Actually, you know, before we call it quits let me drive back um to our farm and let's go ahead and fertilize our own field it'll take me like a half a second but i want to see how much better the harvest outcome is going to be on that field by fertilizing i think every field i'm driving through has stones in it <laughs> been a long time since i've been on an open tractor like this but you forget how loud it can be 
and every field. This one all has stone in it from all the plowing we did last season. This will really only take a second here. Let's jump back out. But before I do fertilize our, our grass field here, now this is where crop sensors would come in handy, but they are 15,000 to put on. I can't put them on that tractor. I can only put them on the Arion right now. Let's see. So I'm about 8% below expected yield, which is, you know, we're not that bad. Fertilizer is, is saying is good on this field or okay in some areas. I mean, it's really only going to take a second or two. And this may actually over-fertilize it. And I'm going, I know I'm going way beyond what I need to, but like I said, it's okay. It's such a small field. Actually, I fertilized it right to where it should be. Almost like I had crop sensors on the tractor. And if you look at the expected yield, we're only 3% off. And I believe 2% of that would be because we didn't roll the field either. So if I went and got some nit uh, nitrogen, if I went and got some lime, I'd probably only raise it by 1%. I I'm just hoping I get one full bale off this field. Just enough to fill the baler. I don't know. We'll find out in the month of April when it comes time to cutting this grass. Uh, but yeah, I got more fertilizing jobs to do. How many more jobs I got to do? Not many. And when I get done, I'll keep on refreshing. Uh, it's only three more. So then I'll refresh the page. Maybe some seeding contracts to come up. And uh, But mostly it's going to be fertilizing contracts, I think. Don't want to pass up on those. But I'm going to go sit in the cabin for a while because, uh, you know, it's 36 degrees out. It's raining. Um, I should probably, you know, warm up a little bit, dry off a little bit, just to go back outside and get wet once again. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching, as always. I'll catch you again right here in East Vineland. But until then, have a good one.